channel. For those of you just tuning in, my name is Christabel. When you have finished watching this video, please go and check out all the other videos that I've done on my channel. Anyway, in today's video I'll be talking about the asteroid belt, the Kuiper belt and the Oort cloud. First, I will start with the Kuiper belt. The Kuiper belt is an area of the outer solar system that is estimated to stretch across 20 astronomical units or 20 AU of space. It contains smaller solar system bodies made mostly of ices. The ices are frozen volatiles, gases such as methane, ammonia, nitrogen and water. It, is, it also is home to the known dwarf planets. The Kuiper Belt could contain hundreds of thousands of icy bodies that range in size from small chunks of ice to wildlets larger than 100 kilometers across. Astronomers have tracked the most short period comets from their origins in the Kuiper Belt. These are comets with orbital periods of 200 years or less. There could be more than a trillion comet nuclei in the main body of the Kuiper Belt. The largest Kuiper Belt objects are Pluto, Kwa Wa, Make Make, Haumea, Ixion, and Baruna. These are also often referred to as trans Neptunian objects. Astronomers have found structures similar to our Kuiper Belt around at least nine other stars. The Hubble Space Telescope imaged disks around the stars HD 138664 in the constellation Lucas and HD 53143 in the constellation Carina. The ices in the Kuiper Belt date back to the formation of the solar system. They contain clues to conditions in the early solar nebula. The Kuiper Belt extends from roughly the orbit of Neptune at 30 AU out to about 55 AU from the Sun. The main body of this belt covers much of this region, ranging from nearly 40 AU to 48 AU. It is thick in most places and astronomers have described it as being more torus shaped than a belt would be. Other regions of the Kuiper Belt include a disk of selected objects that are part of a population of worlds called trans-Neptunian objects. The Asteroid Belt The vast majority of asteroids in the solar system are found in a region of the solar system out beyond Mars. The four, they form the Asteroid Belt Others orbit in near Earth space and a few migrate or are thrown out to the outer solar system by gravitational interactions. The four largest asteroids in the belt are Sirius, Vesta, Pallas and Hygieia. They contain half the mass of the entire belt. The rest of the mass is contained in countless smaller bodies. There was a theory once that if you combined all the asteroids they would make up the missing fifth rocky planet. Planetary scientists estimate that if we could put all that material together that exists there today, it would make a tiny world smaller than the Earth's moon. The asteroid belt is located in an area of space between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. That places it between 2.2 and 3.2 AU from the Sun. The belt is about 1 AU thick. The average distance between objects in the asteroid belt is quite large. If you could stand on an asteroid and look around, the next one would be too far away to see very well. The solar system contains many different types of asteroids grouped 
provides the minerals they contain. The abundances of precious materials, metals, sorry, such as nickel, iron and titanium, and water make asteroids an attractive target for mining operations when humans decide to expand their presence through interplanetary space. For example, water from asteroids could serve colonies in space, while the minerals and metals will be used to build habitats and grow food for future space colony inhabitants. Beginning in 2013, companies interested in asteroid mining began announcing their plans for future operators on distant planetoids. In addition, NASA is looking into similar missions. The biggest obstacles to asteroid mining are the need to develop affordable space-like technology that would allow humans to get to the asteroids of interest. The Oort Cloud The Oort Cloud is an extended shell of icy objects that exist in the outermost reaches of the solar system. It is named after astronomer Jan Oort, who first theorized its existence. The Oort Cloud is roughly spherical and is thought to be the origin of most of the long period comets that have been observed. This cloud of particles is theorized to be the remains of the disk of material that forms the sun and the planets. Astronomers now refer to those primeval objects as a protoplanetary disk. The most likely theory is that the material now in the Oort cloud probably formed closer to the young sun in the earliest epochs of the solar system formation. As the planets grew, and in particular as Jupiter coalesced and migrated to its present position, its gravitational influence is thought to have scattered many icy objects out of their present position in the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is very distant from the sun and it can be disrupted by the nearby passage of a star, nebula or by actions in the disk of the Milky Way. Those actors not cometary nuclei out of, their, out of their orbits and send them on a headlong rush toward the sun. The inner limbs of the Oort cloud begin at about 2000 AU from the sun. The cloud itself stretches out almost a quarter of the way to the nearest star, Proxima Centauri. It is spherically shaped and consists of an outer cloud and a torus donut shaped inner cloud. Objects in the Oort Club are also referred to as trans-Neptune objects. This name also applies to objects in the Kuiper Belt. Some astronomers theorize that the Sun may have captured Oort Club cometary material from the outer disks of other stars that were forming in the same nebula as our star. The Oort Club is a reserve of cometary nuclei that contains ices dating back to the origin of the solar system. No one knows for sure how many objects exist in the Oort cloud, but most estimates put it around 2 trillion. The planetoid Sedna, discovered in 2003, is thought to be a member of the inner Oort cloud. Astronomers think that long period comets, those with orbital periods longer than 200 years, have their origins in the Oort cloud. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll never miss an upload.